Hi. Happy Lord's Day, everyone. Sunday, December the 6th. And before I start, I'd like to give a little shout out to my father. Victor Taylor. Uh, Victor A. Taylor. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you. I know you may not see this, but I still let you know. And yesterday was my, my mother's birthday, so. So I just wanted to give a little shout out and let everybody know about it. Today's my dad's birthday. Yesterday was my mother's. So if you haven't, you, know, you don't already know, yesterday was my mom's birthday, so. But today, Sunday, December the 6th, we are going to be talking about the eight revivals. That's what the title is. We're going to be starting with Psalms 85, number 6. It says, Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? So the number 8 seems commonly to be associated with the Bible with a new beginning, a new life, resurrection, or renewal. Seven being the number of fullness and rest, with the seven day week used ever since the week of creation. Mm, sorry. I itches. Mm. Okay, there we go. Okay. So the Lord Jesus himself was resurrected never to die again on the eighth day, that is, the first day of the week. Whoa, I didn't know that. So it, it's significant thereof that eight great spiritual revivals are described in the Old Testament. Each one under Moses, Samuel, Elijah, A Asa, Asa, however, the A-S-A, however it's pronounced. Hezekiah, Josiah, Ezra, and Nehemiah. It is significant thereof. The eight great spiritual revivals are described. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I call them too by, far back. So it's even more significant, however, that each revival was centered around the word of God. The first, for example, was based on the giving of the law at Sinai. Moses. Exodus 24, 7 says, And he took the book of the covenant and read it and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All that the Lord hath said, said we will do and be obedient. Then much later, when Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord, and the word of Samuel came to all Israel, eventually all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 20, chapter 4 verse 1, and chapter 7 verse 2. That's all three verses. Uh, okay. So I guess when it says Samuel was established, was 320. 4 1 and the word of Samuel came to all Israel, and in 7 2 was all the house of Israel lamented. So, analysis of all the other revivals will reveal that they were also based on reception and acceptance of God's word. So, if you would, if you like to write down the eight names of the people behind these eight revivals, it's Moses. Samuel, most of y'all should know how to spell those words, Elijah, E-L-I-J-A-H, Asa, Asa, A-S-A, Hezekiah, H-E-Z-E-K-I-A-H, Josiah, J-O-S-I-A-H, Ezra, E-Z-R-A, and Nehemiah. N-E-H-E-M-I-A-H. 
And of course, Moses is spelled M O S E S, and Samuel is spelled S A M U E L. So if you write down those eight names, those are the eight revivals in the in the Old Testament. Those are the the prophets behind the eight revivals in the OT in the in the Old Testament. Sorry. Okay, so the last the last revival was under Nehemiah. Nehemiah 9.3 And they stood up in their place and read in the book of the law of the Lord their God one fourth part of the day and another fourth part they confessed and worshipped the Lord their God. So there were other ingredients in these revivals. But the Lord but the word of God was always the foundation. And there could be no true and lasting revival without it. So this is why it's so important in our day when the need for revival is so desperate. That we first get back to a serious study of the Holy Scriptures. Believing and obeying as best we can all that is written therein. Amen? So that is all I have for today. The eight revivals. Like I said, write down the, those eight names. And those are the prophets behind the eight revivals in the Old Testament. Moses, Samuel, Elijah, Asa, Asia, however you pronounce it, Hezekiah, Josiah, Ezra, and Nehemiah. Amen? So tomorrow's video, tomorrow, we're going to be, for Monday, December the 7th, and it, and I just thought, tomorrow will be Pearl Harbor Day. December 7th is Pearl Harbor Day. So, you know what happened at Pearl Harbor. <laughs> But we're going to be talking about at ease in Zion. And we're going to be in the book of... Whoa. Every time I see, I, every time I see that word, that book, it makes me think. The book of Amos, chapter 6, verse 1. And the reason why I say every time I see that, that book, the name of that book, the book of Amos... That is my my uncle. I have an uncle whose name is Amos. And he is um my uncle on my mother's side. He's married to my mother's baby sister. Which she's the youngest the, the sister is the youngest. My mother is the oldest of her her clan her her siblings but he is he is my uncle through marriage by that end so I like to give a quick shout out to him on here if he's watching hello Uncle Amos I'll tell you hello again tomorrow's video so <laughs> if I always do if I every time I read I see the word that word I always give a shout out no matter what I did a bonus video, one of my bonus videos I did a while back. It's probably been three or four months since I've done a bonus. And I think it was, uh, the, the title was something to do with, with the Prophet Amos. And I gave a shout out to that. And ever since then, he's never, if he's, he's, he's a, He's on the road a bunch, but when he comes home, he come in and get get changed to get get comfortable, and then he will sit down and and we'll, they'll find the video, pull up a vi pull up pull up my videos and watch them. And he'll sit down and watch my videos, and so I appreciate that. I do have some support from family so <laughs> but 
like I said, just just stay tuned that for tomorrow. I love you. I appreciate you, everyone. Just stay safe. Trust God. And he'll keep you safe. And I'll see you tomorrow. And maybe by tomorrow, I will be... By the time you see tomorrow's video, this will be gone. This will be... I'll be clean. So all this, this here, but then I'm just going to have a strip. I think the strip starts about here. Because I have a... Try to have a long... Just a... Just a good strip. And that... That'll be the only hair I have. Everything else will be gone. So it'll be clear. So all you'll see is my cheeks. My cheekbones. <laughs> but... Just stay tuned for that. I'll see you tomorrow. Clean. I'll be cleaned up tomorrow. So... But as of recording this video... It is, uh... Wednesday. So... So maybe by, maybe by time you, may time you see tomorrow's video, when you see tomorrow's video, I will be clean. So that's all I can say. So sometime this weekend I'll get cleaned up. So, but I appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>